the thing that makes science, especially here at Breck, is the focus on curiosity and questions. We want the students doing things and then asking questions about it. Kanari, Kamaya, and Vivi wanted to design a science experiment for their middle school science fair project. They came up with this idea that we always say five second rule when something drops on the ground. And so they're gonna design a science experiment to test whether or not the five second rule is accurate. We wanna know if there's actually a bacterial growth in plants. And if so, how much? And kids drop food on the floor all the time. So we wanted to see if things are really actually still clean after being dropped on the floor. The five second rule is one of the most middle school projects that you can get where they're just curious about things that they hear in life or something they saw on TikTok. And so they have to go through the full scientific method and they need to have a procedure and they need to know how can you use science and evidence to really form your own conclusions and back your own thinking up. I was on my favorite golf course, just playing around after school. I noticed a sign and it says, please spray bug spray on the cart paths because it kills the grass. And I was like, I have never heard of that before. <laughs> Selena is doing what we would call a really base level toxicity test on three different species of grass. Toxicity of deep to plants has never been published, um, and so this would be the first step towards showing that in a rigorous scientific way. There's so much we can learn from plants. It's photosynthesis, how plants make their food. We learn about the stem and the roots. Studying plants is just a great way to learn. Scientists actually prove this, that if you talk to your pumpkin plant, it will grow. I just said, you can do this, come on plant. Grow, grow, grow. What we love to see, I think, as teachers is when we walk through the halls and we see upper school kids who have done, you know, really amazing things. I think that's where I get excited, knowing that we in the lower school are setting the framework for all that they're going to be doing in the upper school. One of the reasons why I came to Breck was that they had this awesome research program, and even then I didn't understand how life-changing it would be for me. The type of student that uh, really thrives on the robotics team is a student who enjoys hands-on, uh, practical approach to things. We have a lot of people who design, we have a lot of people who build. There's programmers, there's mentors, marketing people. Honestly, if you like robots, it's a good place for you. <laughs> Once a year, we'll take our robot, uh, we'll pack it up, put it in the trailer, and we'll take it over to our community partnership site, which is a local elementary school, and we'll kind of show it off to the kids that we work with throughout the year. We're showing them that this kind of learning, this kind of exploration and design is really fun and really valuable. Community partnership at Breck is about connecting with our community. It's a piece of my work at Breck that stands out to me as, as, as sort of a really strong positive. The type of student that thrives in the science department at Breck is one who is constantly asking questions. We don't want our students to sit back, look at something, and just accept. In a science classroom, they're learning how the things they have already observed function and work, and you have these aha moments with them that I get to share in that feel really, really special. Every single discipline of science, whether that be robotics or biology or engineering or physics, there's all of these different ways they link to each other. And they've really helped me develop all of these different skills to become a successful um, scientist or engineer. Well, this is what we really do well at Breck. We take students' ideas and enthusiasms and we help them create something amazing and wonderful out of that.